Hey, what is up guys? This is Atone here, and today I'm going to be showing you a simple thing, but something a lot of people don't think know that makes everyone's life a lot way easier. When I first learned this, I was like, oh my god, I haven't known this for so long. It's like, it's honestly, it'll speed up your all your designs, everything. It's just, trust me, you're going to you're gonna want to know this, all right? Okay, so let's get right into this. So what you're going to do first is just open a document. So I'm just going to make a thumbnail size. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you how to... That was my watch. I'm going to show you guys how to take an image that is a ping and turn it into... Or that is not a ping. So it's take like a stock image. So I'm going to look up... Um, what's a good example? So flame... All right, so I'm gonna go to images, and as you can see, there are a lot of great flame Im images right here. And I'm gonna open this one up right now. So we're gonna copy it and paste it. Okay, so as you can see, it's not a ping, it's a JPEG. So one might think to get rid of the background, you could use the paint bucket, right? So I'll go to clear, and I will click here. Well, that just looks terrible. So, I'm going to undo that. Alright. Um, another way someone might do it is with the magic wand tool. So, they click here. And start racing. Which looks a little bit better. But, doesn't look real at all. So, I'm going to undo those as well. Alright. So the best way to do this, if it's a dark background, um, I'll show you. So this is the before, and now I'm going to duplicate this over here, just to show you guys the difference. All right. So this is just an amazing thing. Uh, okay, how do I center this? Uh, that's good enough for now. So, over here, where it says normal, click on that, and go down to screen. Alright? So once you're on screen, you can't see it right now. But what screen pretty much does, is remove the entire background, like all the dark from the image. So now, if I go to my brush right here, and I make, say, a light gray stroke, you can see the flame. So the flame is a ping right now. So as you can see, it's fully cut out and all you can see is that part. So now I'm going to duplicate it. And the more you duplicate it, the more you can see it. So that's just a really cool tool. And just to kind of show you how this can be used, um, I will import a thumbnail I made for a tutorial. Um, as you can see. Um, and so here's before this is how it would have looked before and this is how it looks after so as you can see it's just an insane difference between the two so this is just perfect so say I wanted this to look like he was on fire oh my gosh I was out of control um, boom right there I mean now he's on fire that easy with just literally the click of one two two clicks um, Lighten also works a very similar way. Um, however, I have better luck with screen most of the time. Um, it's just more consistent usually with the way it works and how it looks on the background. So there you go. That's the tutorial for you guys. I hope you did enjoy. This is like my fifth video in the past two hours, no lie. So I'm just kind of trying to make as many videos as I can right now. Just trying to do my thing. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, it means a lot to me. Please do subscribe. And thank you. Peace out.